The big question is, is space an arena in which things happen, in which things come on and off? Or is there no arena? Is space just a network of relationships? A way to ask the question is if the whole universe were moved entirely 10 meters to the left, would it matter? Does it even mean something to say that because no relationships would change? Right, right. And Newton said yes, it is different. And Leibniz said no, it's even wrong to ask the question because there's no discernible difference between the universe here and the universe 10 meters to the left. And this very question of whether space is a framework, an absolute background, or whether space is an aspect of reality that grows out of a network of relationships, of causality, of change, is the fundamental question. This is the modern way of understanding Einstein's theory of general relativity. And so if you think about the structure, an event happens and light goes out of it, we have these pictures of light cones going out. And if you're can travel from the that. Amount, as light goes out over time at the speed of light, it covers in greater and greater distance. Greater, greater and greater distance. So you imagine a sphere going out. Now, if a later event happens within that sphere, information could have reached there from the first event going at slower than the speed of light. And so there could be a causal relation. There will be a causal relation between the first event and the second. If another event is so far away that light could not have gotten there, then there's no causal relation. And the interesting thing is, if you write down a list of all the causal relations between all the events in the universe, you describe the geometry of space-time almost completely. Oh. So whereas the common perception is that we have space, and in the space there are relationships, like my chair and your chair, or there are causes that I push your chair and you, you, you move a little bit, that, that that is an artificial distinction, that maybe it's the events themselves that create the concept of space? Yes. Yes. I mean, I mean that's... And, and that's not just a metaphor. It's the best way of understanding both the principles and the mathematics of Einstein's theory of general mm -hmm. relativity. Now let's bring time into it, because Einstein... Oh, but time is already in it, because causality is okay. time. So, so what you're saying is that time then is, uh, is also emergent because once you have the cause, time is a natural product of that as opposed to time being something that we flow through. Yes, if you take that point of view, then causality is the fundamental aspect of time and the, our experience of the flow of time is a product of that. A derivative? A derivative of that. Okay. For me, this is one of the profound issues. The issue is... Is time really fundamental so that it's the one thing that's not emergent? Or is time somehow emergent or a consequence of other things? And, of course, we don't know the answer, but different approaches to the fundamental questions about cosmology, about quantum gravity, line up on different sides of those questions. And this is something I've been thinking about myself a great deal, and I've been finding Personally, I'm thinking more and more in the direction that time is fundamental, is not emergent. Uh, differentiated from space? Yes. S so you are teasing apart space and time? Because in quantum gravity... Sounds quite radical. Uh, sure it is, but it's also maybe the most conservative solution to a set of conundrums that we face when we try to bring together quantum theory and gravity, because the other alternative is that time goes away completely. And in the view that time goes away completely and time is, quote, emergent, then the world is nothing but a vast collection of moments with not necessarily any relation amongst them. The, the relations of time, of causality, dissolve and is just disconnected moments. And this does represent an, a proper interpretation of certain mathematical approaches to quantum gravity. Okay. But these approaches, they succeed to a certain extent and then they fail. There comes a moment when you say, is that over here really a technical problem or do we just have a conceptual misunderstanding? And that's what you think about time. That's what I think about time.